Hiya fishy folks and welcome back to Michael Fish Room. Today, an update on that tank right there. Grab yourself a healthy snack and beverage, perhaps in your coldest water cup, and stand by. All right, fishy folks, here is the Back to Roots three and a half gallon filter. Uh, I did an unboxing a few weeks ago. I'll link that video up top for you, but uh, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna set it up. Now, I have a special fish coming uh, next week from a great supplier, and uh, they, they graciously are donating this fish to me, which I really appreciate. Uh, but first, I wanna get the tank set up and show you what I'm doing and show you the plants I'm gonna use and so on and so forth. So just a, a reminder, this is a aquaponics setup. There's uh, plants up top with the grow beds. I just have some herbs, some cilantro, some parsley, and some dill, which looks like it may or may not make it. Uh, I have this arrow garden next to the tank where I started the herbs. These are another set of herbs coming up. <coughs> I'm fine. And I have some stuff over here. Here's some more parsley. There are some lettuce and these are chives uh, that I'm growing. I have pots everywhere. I like to start my herbs inside uh, early uh, because I do use them year round. All right, let me just show you the setup here. Um, this is my desk. I edit videos with my, I have a Mac underneath all these papers and plants. It's my work computer. You know, we got some crap on the shelves. Uh, the arrow guard and the printer for when I, uh, when I print labels and so on and so forth. My router, you know. Whole bunch of stuff. Anyway, uh, I did get an order from KGE Aquatics. Keith sent me a bunch of things. Uh, he knows I'm an idiot, so he writes things down. He sent me the Crypt uh, Underwear, which is a potted plant, and the Crypt Beckham soccer player, I guess. One of these two. Oh, look, there's, there's, there's cheat sheets in there. That's sweet. And then uh, some Sag, which is... This stuff, because, you know, I can tell what a bunch plant is. And then the twisty pods. <clears throat> These are similar to Indian almond leaves. They just look cool. So I'll put one or two in the tank for the fish that's going in there. So a um, couple issues with the tank. I've had it running for a few days now just to see, you know, if I want to make any changes before I got it ready. Um, I do have concerns over light. Obviously, we have this light from the Arrow Garden, and we have those lights for up top, grow lights. Um, but I'm not sure there's going to be enough light in the tank, so we'll see. Keith says there should be, but, you know, I guess he would know. I'm just an idiot. Um, and then here's the other problem. Now, you would think that water, that noise is coming from here, but it's not. It's coming from inside. Uh, the pump, which is not connected because I had it apart looking at it. I'll connect it soon though. Uh, pumps up there and then goes into like an L and that goes into the grow bed. But they tell you not to fill it, only fill it up to here. Now I will fill it more obviously after I put the plants and I don't wanna put too much water in. They have my hand going there and stuff. Um, but that noise is annoying. So I may do it yourself a fix. I'm actually gonna contact Back to Roots cause I really like what they do. <coughs> I'm fine. Um, so I'm, I want to give them a chance to help me. So we'll see what happens. All right, folks, refill your snack and beverage if you need to. I'm going to plant this bad boy up and show you the heating and everything like I'm going to use. So be right back. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, we're back. And I just want to show you what I was talking about. Uh, first, I planted uh, three of the plants. Uh, this crypt over here came with three separate uh, plants. I just put one in there and put two in the angelfish tank because... Uh, you know, the idea of this tank is that um, it's aquaponics, right? So the, the waste from the fish feeds these plants. So I didn't want these plants sucking up too much waste. Um, I did add three twisties. You see, they just have to get waterlogged and sink. And you can see the water's quite cloudy from messing with the, uh, the gravel. Anyway, so see how that pump is set up? Well, that water flows into this top section through this hole. And that's what's making the noise. So my workaround is probably going to be adding a hose and putting that hose um, 
down into here so that you don't hear the water so much. But I'm going to actually email the company and see what they say, um, see if they have a workaround already known. If not, I just have to figure out what size uh, hose that is and, uh, you know, make that work or find another elbow, you know, that I could put in there. But that's really nice and neat. So, all right, folks, let me put the lid on. I'll show you how this works. It's a pretty neat setup. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, there we are. You can see the water is right up to there. Now the instructions say to fill it within one inch of here, but then later on, that's like step three or four. Step six, when it's you're all done, it looks like the water is up to here, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna contact the company and find out because I don't really want the water any higher. Um, I already spill some when I look, but you know, when I, when I work in the tank. So hopefully I won't be working in the tank too much. Now the big reveal of the new fish will be next week. I'm very excited. I spoke to the company today and they will be shipping me the fish next week on Monday. I should get it on Tuesday. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, you can see I have a heat mat here and I use this for my seeds, uh, but I'm also using, using it to heat the tank. So the heat mat, is what 79 i think it's warmer than that the heat mat is 93 degrees and i'm gonna do it this way 75 76 degrees i don't know if that's gonna be warm enough for the arowana oops i let it slip about what fish i'm putting in here i'm not getting an arowana i'm not sure if that's gonna be warm enough for the fish that's in here we'll see we'll see how it does i'm a big um proponent of using the right temperature water for the fish. However, I think as uh, as fish keepers, many of us believe fish always need a filter and a heater, and that's just not necessarily true. So, you know, if my house always stayed at 75 degrees, I wouldn't need a heater, but my house doesn't say 75 degrees ever. So we'll see if this mat does its trick. We'll see how the fish acts. I may have to get a small heater, and that's a whole nother, uh, whole nother video, I guess. So uh, that does it for now. I'm going to use these fancy grow lights I have for uh, other plants. Hint, hint. Uh, and we'll see how they do. And we'll see. My two concerns, like I said, is do we have enough light for the plants in the tank? And will this light cause algae to grow on the glass? So those are questions that will have to get answered. Anyway, fishy folks, that does it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll put a link to this Back to Roots aquarium um in the description so check that out of course check out my website michaelsfishroom.com it is now february 14th valentine's day happy valentine's day everyone i will be shipping next week february 21st definitely shipping overnight orders i have well over 65 orders i lost count i'm going to try to get them all done in one day um but it's supposed to be in the 50s for a couple days next week so if the weather holds i will definitely be shipping uh, at least overnight orders. So uh, if you see this video and you have an order pending and you don't want me to ship it, let me know right away. Um, and you'll know when I ship your order when you get an email that says your order has been shipped. All right, fishy folks, that does it. Have a great day. Peace out, yo. First, let me show you the area. So this is my desk where I uh, edit videos and I also uh, work, when I work from home, this is where I work. My uh, computer's there, my work computer's here. You know, just a bunch of stuff. My desk, you know, you can see it. So I did get an order from Keith at KGE Aquatics. Keith knows I'm an idiot, so he writes down what everything is. Uh, Crypt underwear, that's one of the potted plants. Let's see, two potted plants. Crypt Beckenbauer. Uh, if you know who that is, leave, leave, leave a note in the description. <laughs>